Welcome to Electron Line. On the previous video, we saw what the Laplacian was. Essentially, it's defined as follows. The Laplacian is equal to the divergence of a gradient. And here in the nice box, we have the equation that shows us that the Lapla Laplacian of a scalar function is equal to the second partial derivative with respect to x of the function, plus the second partial derivative with respect to y of the function, plus the second partial derivative with respect to z of the function. Notice that the gradient is something we do on a scalar quantity, which then gives us a vector quantity. Then if we take the divergence of vector quantity, we get back a scalar, which then means that if we do the Laplacian of a scalar quantity, we get a scalar result. All right, so the result will be a scalar. So now what we're going to do is notice that the Laplacian of the scalar functions, which we have defined right here, is going to be equal to the second partial derivative with respect to x of every term in the function. So first we do it with respect to x. So here, the first derivative is 4x cubed. The second derivative would be 3 times 4, or 12x squared. So this is 12x squared, plus we take the derivative of this with respect to x, that would be 2xy, and then we take the second derivative with respect to x, we get 2y. And here we take the derivative of that, that would be plus 0, and the derivative of this with respect to x, and we get 0 for those two terms. All right, so now we do the second part here, and now we take the partial derivative with respect to y. So that would be plus the partial derivative of this with respect to y, that's 0. The partial derivative of this with respect to y, well, y is a variable, x squared is a constant, so we simply get the constant, but then if we take the second derivative of the constant, we get 0 again. This, this, the first derivative with respect to y here, that would be 0, and the derivative of this with respect to y will be 0. So notice, we have four terms, so we have four terms for the first partial, second partial derivative, four more terms for the second partial derivative, now we need four more terms for the third partial derivative, so that would be plus the second partial derivative with respect to z of the first term, that would be 0, plus the second partial derivative with respect to z of this term, that would be 0 again, plus the second partial derivative with respect to z of this. Ah, so we have 3 times 5, which is 15z squared, and 2 times 15, which is 30 times z. So here we get 30 times z, and then plus 0 again when we take the second partial derivative with respect to z of the last term. Lots of zeros, but in the end, when we throw those away and we just keep on we have left, so here we get 12 x squared plus 2y plus 30z. And this is what we call is the Laplacian of our scalar function x to the fourth plus x squared y plus 5, 5z to the third plus 8. And that is how that's done. Let's check to see if it's correct. <clears throat> 12x squared plus 2y plus 30z, that looks like it's correct.